Today at the Rush Center, legacies were going to be made. State volleyball championships were on the line. Let's begin at the Division Three level as Howard's Grove looked to do something only two other teams have ever done, and that's win four consecutive state titles. Tigers taking on two seed St. Croix Falls. Howard's Grove starting out the first set on fire. Here's a slam by Mallory Godzuski to go up 10. They win set one, 25 to 19. In set two, St. Croix Falls had an early lead, but the Tigers rally. Eden Marinell and Jacqueline Yancey are going to get the block at the net to put them up eight. And now a long volley for the Tigers. Yancey puts a little soft English on this one to win the set for the Tigers. 25 to 20. Can they get a three set sweep? It's only fitting that Sage Damro would get a kill to give her team their fourth straight state title. She led the team with 15 kills and she finishes her career with 998. Here's Howard's Grove after the game. I don't know. I don't think anybody really deserves this. Um, it's so special. Uh, to do it to do it with my daughter her senior year um honestly i'm just i'm just so emotional right now and trying to absorb this because this is unique that, that's not even the victories just the company that i'm around we don't care about wins and loses we just care that we play as a team and i think that really shows in every single match because we were down i don't even know what we were down in the second set because we don't really pay attention to the score but i know we were down and I don't think you could really tell because no matter what, we come together as a team and we show up for each other in every single moment. Let's go up a level to Division Two. Number one, Xavier taking on number two, Sock Prairie. Hawks were down 18 to 11 at one point in the first set. With this block by Hallie Vandehe, they tie it at 19. And then the end, the first outscoring Sock Prairie 14 to three, they go on a 14 to three run, capped off by a kill from Annika Kowalski to win it 25-21. Now the second set would be another close one. Hawks up one on set point. Eagles try to flip it over, but Olivia Newman shuts that down to give her team the 25 to 23 victory. One set away, the Eagles would win set three, but the Hawks would dominate set four. On set point, Madison Daly gets set up and clubs it off the defender, and Xavier is your Division II state champions. Here they are after the game. It's something that we've been dreaming of. We talk about a gold ball mentality every day at practice, and now we got that gold ball, and it's just unreal. We're going to carry on next year the flame that started this year. So we're really just like year after year working on building who we are as not only players but people as well.